Hi everyone, welcome to the daily reading. This is your reading for today, Thursday, June 27th, 2019. Um, I am reading outside again uh, to continue with the series this week. I may not be outside every day, but um, just my observations from sitting out here for the last 10 minutes. It is not a peaceful day in the forest. Birds are very annoyed right now. The squirrels are fighting with each other. Um, so it's, if you hear sounds in the background, um, in general, the animals where I live are not happy. <laughs> so if you hear squawking, those are crows fighting. So that might give you a backdrop for the energies today. Maybe. We'll see. I'd like to refer to or defer to the cards for that. So let's go ahead and see what is going on for the collective, for all signs. I'll call it the signs as I see them. Thursday, June 27th, 2019. I did just see the tower there. Let's hope it doesn't come out. <laughs> well, the tower's not always a bad thing, I know. Yeah, they're very loud today. we need to know for Thursday, June 27th, 2019, for all signs. hear people talking either. All right, let's see what we have. Seven of Wands in reverse, Ten of Cups in reverse, Ace of Swords. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Wands in reverse. I'll see if I can uh, show you guys the cards a little bit better. Probably not too much better. So, fire sign energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, I'm definitely seeing Leo, and Aries coming up here, Ten of Cups reverse, Piscean energy, um, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, but mostly Pisces, Leo, and then we have the Ace of Swords, so we brought Gemini, Aquarius coming through. Uh, those are really up not happy this morning. That's not a good sign. Um, the first thing I see is, I don't know if you can hear them there. It's just ridiculous how much noise they're making. Uh, definitely fighting uh, crows. That's what fighting crows sound like. Seven of Wands reverses our first card. Usually this talks about someone who's backing down from a situation, who feels defenseless. Um, someone who's not able to defend themselves from an attack, for example, can be verbal. Um, could just be, it could be physical. Um, yeah, we have a cat here who is not like being poked. Do not poke the Chad bear, right? So, I see someone here who's backing down, maybe not speaking up as much, maybe not standing up for themselves. Um, this may be leading to some kind of a separation. This can also indicate problems with the family. So um, it could be that um, someone is going through a separation here, or someone is um, not able to defend uh, their family, not able to defend something going on within the family unit. Um, I feel like this involves more than one person. This is definitely two, so similar to the two of cups here, right? That ten of cups reverse. So and then I'm trying to think if I add all the numbers up, we have 17, 18, right? Which is what comes after the star, right? 
reduces to a nine. So someone here is definitely feeling worn out about something. Um, let me just check something out here. Of course, I won't be able to open the, the packet up. Okay, you know, you guys know when I have to get the book out, it's not good. Um, let's just check something out here. We have 14, 15, right, 17, and 18. Ah, the moon. Right, so 18 is the moon, so that's the Cancerian energy coming through here. Um, I just, what I basically did is I added all the cards up, and we have the major arcana, the moon, number 18, represented here. So if someone is backing down from a separation or a family situation, this can even be something causing a lot of unhappiness or unrest, I do feel like there can be some truth coming today or even some communication alerting you to the truth. Um, I definitely see two cards here talking about a separation or talking about a severance. Separ se uh, separating, severing ties? Yes, severing ties. That's what I wanted to say. And once again, uh, we had this card yesterday, the Two of Wands in reverse. However, it was in uh, this position right here in the future. So, fire sign energy, someone is feeling lost, someone is feeling hopeless, someone is not sure where to go, where to turn. Um, again, there's this feeling of what direction do I go in? Um, I know I can move forward now, but feeling lost in terms of direction, in terms of movement forward. Um, yeah. And there's definitely, I'm definitely seeing a fire sign energy here who is feeling powerless or feeling like um, they don't feel like this is the opposite of being defensive. So they've take, they've let their defenses down. Um, this can be a fire sign going through a separation with a water sign. Or someone who is uh, going through a separation or having issues with the family. Although I see Ten of Cups more in relationship to person relationship situations. Um, there can be new truth coming to you today or something that will reveal the truth to you about the situation. Remember, we're dealing with the moon here. So we just had that. We just had that new moon, right? Um, was it a full moon? No, sorry. We just had the full moon. So that the energies are now pulling away, right? When we have a uh, waning moon, the energies are now sucking away from, pulling away from. So you're going to feel that pull, right? Things being pulled apart. Things being pulled back into the ocean. I have chosen two oracle, or two decks today. I'm going to start, if we have time, with the oracle mermaids. I say if we have time because my camera phone has been acting erratic lately. And these crows are just ridiculous in the background. Could be someone is uh, dealing with uh, a lot of fighting. There could be a lot of unrest. Someone is tired of being um, put on the defensive, okay? This can be a situation where um, someone has to separate, you know. But where to go now? That's the question. All right. For whomever this resonates for, I am seeing a lot of Leo Aries energy. Like I said, Pisces and Libra, Gemini, Aquarius coming through. So you may be any one of those signs or have those signs in your chart. Check your needle chart. All right, what can we get for today, Spirit? What can we get for today in the Oracle of Mermaids? What is your guidance? Okay. We have transparency. All right, so this talks about honest, authentic expression or just being honest and authentic, being genuine and present. So um, there is a need here, and this reminds me of the Ace of Swords which talks about honesty, being honest with yourself and with others. Being authentic means telling your story. What's your story? Okay. There's no need for lies now. It's, an, it's about being genuine and present, whatever your situation is. 
but the truth is going to come out today. And Spirit wants you to be transparent with yourself and with others at this time. Okay? That doesn't mean that you sh should go around, you know, telling your secrets to people. No, but there's a need at least to sit with yourself in your truth. Be with yourself in your truth, right? Okay. Excited to see what comes out. We have the deck here. If any of you have a good crystal collection or you live near a crystal store, this, this, and even if you don't, what I want to say, what I want to say is that you can meditate on the energy of the crystal, even if you don't have the crystal. Or I do recommend <clears throat> purchasing uh, the crystal that I pulled here because it's not just for today; it can also be for you know, this time period over the next seven days, so it can be helpful. What do we need to know about Thursday, June 27th, and which crystal will be helpful for my viewers today? Which crystal will for my viewers today? Okay, we have Bloodstone. It, it's beautiful. Look at that beautiful stone. A polished, polished stone here. So it's been tumbled. Okay, what it is, I'll hold it up. <clears throat> Bloodstone is an earthy green chalcedony spattered with seriously activating red jasper. In the Middle Ages, some believed the red splotches on the stone surface were the blood of Christ. I don't know if you can see those red splotches. Okay, who needs it? The constantly overworked and completely drained by the soul-sucking machinations of modern life. Also, they're recommending this for Capricorns, although I don't see any earth sign here. I could definitely be reading for someone that has Capricorn in their chart. Where to put it wherever you do the important work, spiritual, physical, and psychological. When to use it when you're totally blood dry and it's time to get into your body and start feeling your damn self. Sleep, get some exercise, take nourishment, and call on Bloodstone to drag your ass out of the house to face the day. Chin up and head high. So they want you to power up your vitals. Um, and that is a large wasp. Okay. I think I'm going to end the reading here, guys. Um, I think Bloodstone is a wonderful crystal, a wonderful stone to use. Um, especially if you're feeling drained emotionally. I do see someone here who could be feeling emotionally drained. But um, also, there's a need here for vital, vital energy, not vital, vital energy. And you can put, put bloodstone wherever you do your physical labor, your physical work, your spiritual work, or psychological work. But I'm definitely expecting some honest and um, some honesty today, some being genuine and present with your emotions, no matter how difficult they are. That will certainly help. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you have a wonderful Thursday. We are almost at Friday. Yay! So hang in there, guys, and have a wonderful day.